Yeah, listen to this one. Balls hanging too long. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Long balls. You got long ass balls. I've got long balls. All right, we are back to another banger here in this both adorable and super grim game. Know this, Little Misfortune. Because Little Misfortune here, this adorable little girl, is going to die. Now, with this run, what we're doing is we're only choosing bad choices. So for now, let's continue going onwards. If you haven't watched the first video, upper right corner of the screen should pop a link out for you now. Go click it, watch it, in case you missed it. Let's get to it. So we're in a cave, in case you're wondering. Um, this cave had a danger sign outside that said if you come in here, you're gonna get killed by boulders. And the voice told me to come in here, so I don't trust the voice at all. Like, whatsoever. <gasps> what was that? What? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. That was a mouse, a gerbil of some kind, on a sports vehicle. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Have you been drinking today, Snuck Falcon? No, I have not been drinking today, okay? I'm completely lucid and sober today. What's this? The hamster party? A magical hamster party. I know you love parties. Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. No, Mr. Voice. What are you doing? There are nude hamsters in there. She can't see this. She can't be exposed to the world of furries at this age. It's too young. Ugh, hamster fight. Are you going to do something about it? No. I don't want to get involved in their drama. Oh! Yo! He's Batman. See? They went inside to Porter. <laughs> it looks like someone spilled their ketchup. <laughs> that is not ketchup! Little misfortune, that hamster was dragged in there against his will to a live nude hamster XXX party, and he was butchered. Well, let's see what's in the bag, huh? Oh, are those mints? Maybe I should try one <laughs> so I can keep my no, breath don't. fresh. I'm a little lady, you know. Don't. Don't have the mint. Can I have the mint? No, I can't have the mint. Okay, don't, don't have the mint. But you said a bad choice. That's too much, man. I'm not gonna drug the little girl. We couldn't take it anyway, even though I actually would have done it, okay? I'll be on. Wow, I'm feeling really nice. No, 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 I didn't. No, I, you gotta believe me. I didn't tell her to take it. It automatically happened. Oh. All right, well, this is happening. Are you all right, Miss Fortune? I'm okay. Get a room. At least go inside of the club. Perverts. All right, let's see what we got here. Check that lady out. I think she's in trouble. Oh no, I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes. Looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes. You're right. She's the owner of that strip club and God knows what else club? Her, that old hamster lady? What is happening? Excuse me, I think I have your purse. Go easy on the mint though. I tried one and it was a wild ride. <laughs> Is that for me? What is it? Oh no. Now I can get into the, the stripper ham hamster club. Excuse me. I'm a very VIP. <laughs> Here's my ticket. <laughs> very, very important person. Finally. 
a real party. Wow, this place is so sweet. Is this the VIP floor? Yes, you could say that. Am I allowed to dance? Of course you are. <laughs> sweet. Listen, Miss Fortune, you need to find the white rabbit. A white rabbit? Why? It will lead you closer to the eternal happiness. Okay, I'll find it. Well, what is this now? Suddenly Alice in Wonderland? And why are these hamsters the size of her now? They were small before. Now they're her size. I guess, well, if she went in through... Oh, okay. It's like Alice in Wonderland, obviously. She went in through the door, so she's now there. So, okay. I guess I kind of... I answered my own question. Oh Excuse my goodness. me. God, look at the bulge on it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no, Stony. What are you doing? This is not the time. What's happening? It looks like this hamster challenged Stony to a dance battle. No, we don't have time for this. I'm sorry, but it's on. Rock and roll, Stony. <laughs> oh, it's on. Stony versus the Chippendale chipmunk. Hit the correct the correct key and follow the rhythm. Okay, am I using the arrow keys? Okay, let's go for it. A little bit of DDR action, huh? Okay, here we go. Let's see how we do it. It's been a while. Perfect. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Great. <laughs> You're on fire. <laughs> Great. Two hours later. Oh, so cute. Is that sugar? Is that why they're so sweet? Yes, sure. Why not? <laughs> no, it's not sugar. They're hyped for another reason, but it's not sugar. Look, the white rabbit. Follow it. Yes. Okay. There it is, white rabbit. Do we catch a rabbit? We just followed the rabbit out of the strip club, apparently, or into the backstage room. Do I really want to be there? I don't even know at this point. Oh, right. Missing call 112. Hey, you, on the other side of the screen, listen, I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will Miss Fortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. Shut up. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry, it's not far from here. Great. <laughs> Look, a missing kid. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Besides, I didn't tell mommy I went outside. Bye! Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna slow this down for you. But are the people driving by wearing, like, creepy-ass masks? Oh, you're probably a ghost like that Billy kid, I think. Yeah, all the people driving are wearing, like, Hello. creepy masks. A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. That's so adorable. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. All right. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. Look, it's Benjamin from the Hoots in the Woods. <laughs> you know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go! 
Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. You are a house of lies, Mr. Voice. Now, here's the thing. Here's an interesting thing. You, children, hide your children, hide, hide your children, yada, yada, yada. I'm not sure if it was obvious when we scrolled through. Was the fox putting those up or removing them? Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. And that's a drawing of that weird thing that keeps, like, showing up in those alternate world versions that we see. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, <laughs> don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make mommy proud. Yes. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign and Mmm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yeah, listen to this one. Balls hanging too long. <laughs> no signature. Where are they hanging from? Long balls. You got long ass balls. I've got long balls. Oh, God. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. Remember that fish you picked up earlier? You mean Rodrigo, my fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm, I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing. To maybe do, I guess. Give the fish. I hope this fish brings you as much joy and love as it did to me. That was very kind of you. Thank you. Uh. What? Oh no! Rodrigo is dead now. Of course. Seagulls love eating fish. Why didn't you say something? Well, now you know. Isn't it fun to learn? I guess so. <laughs> well. I'll bury him later. Different event with that? Could be. Check out that duck. Yo. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Oh yeah, but I mean, can we talk about the fact that the, the duck is over here lighting up a doobie? Look at this guy. Let's show off her dance skills, sure. Of course, check this out. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. No, no, you understand. You need to get contact high. That duck just hotboxed you with a misfortune. Alright. Anything else that we can do here? Oh. <laughs> what have we done to this girl? First, whatever narcotics we took earlier, now we're getting contact tie, hot box, whatever. Would you like to write this one? It's like a tornado. Okay, now this one sounds very dangerous. Especially after the, um, 
Marijuana? Yes, I want to ride. Michael, stop! Ah, I can't <laughs> hold up anymore! I told you. <laughs> oh no, misfortune. <laughs> okay. Where's well, another um, voodoo doll here? When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Right. Mmm, apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. There's certain things that Mr. Voice can't see, right? Like, he can't see the apparitions, apparently. And... I think when we got the first doll, he also seemed very confused about what she said after it. And we kind of saw it here. I wonder if that means anything. Or just maybe look, me looking too far into it. Oh. Hide your children. Yeah. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage. And it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. Yeah, you like that. You like that, Mr. Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> Sounds like a terrible place to end the game. I've seen Pet Cemetery, man. So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question, have you ever stolen anything? Okay, um, well, yeah. I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question, are you happy right now? Uh, no, I guess would probably, I mean, I don't think it's bad to be unhappy sometimes, but we'll just go with no. Well, not really. Many things make me sad. That's why I want the prize so much. Then I can stop pretending I'm always happy. Ah, I see. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? It's pretty deep. I could then stop pretending I'm happy. No? No, that's why I like my Stony so much. He's just a rock and doesn't get angry or sad. I wish I could be like that sometimes. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. This is a hint, huh? The kids go missing because of Mr. Voice? What if Mr. Voice is like a kidnapper, a child kidnapper? Hmm. Makes you think. Very intriguing. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish, all right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. That shovel, okay. He's Satan. Okay, Mr. Voice. Okay, you, you just don't make shovels materialize from presumably where hell is logically or theoretically or hypothetically envisioned by most people. All right. Gotta dig where the goldfish is at. So here's the thing. Do we dig all of them or just where the goldfish is at? Does something happen if you dig another one? Well... 
Didn't look before. What the hell is that? Somebody dug here already, too, it does seem. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Mr. Bubbles? Uh, that would be a monkey. <laughs> nah, too little information. That's, uh, <laughs> that's Michael Jackson's pet. Or his pet once at one time. Ah, uh, let's see. Roger the Magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha, huh. I don't get it. He flew right into the window and killed. Unfortunately, birds um, can tell glass from not glass. Nah, I don't think so. I'll keep looking. Should I just try digging into one of these? I just don't want to like trigger something that we shouldn't be triggering and not continue the story. Uh, whatever. Let's Dig say, up the magpie. Oh, you're the magpie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. I don't. Dig it up. Ah, uh, no prize in here. Oh, okay. Look, this grave is available. What do you want to do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go and bury the the the, the, the fish. I think I'll bury Rodrigo here. He deserves it. Any last words? Rodrigo smelled like a fish. I like that in a fish. He was nice. I hope he liked me. Bye, Rodrigo. Bye, Rodrigo. That was beautiful. Thank you. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. No, as in Mr. Bub. I'm, I'm, I was thinking Michael Jackson. No, Mr. Bubbles, as in a little fish who you know blows the little bubbles up. Gotcha. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box. Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. We have found it. At the very least, we still got to bury Rodrigo, which is the very important thing. All right, eternal happiness, here we go. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Signed, Benjamin. Is that a good thing, though? Could be. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. Or a blessing in disguise. Oh, we could um, glitter it though. All right. Benjamin, did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. Hmm. Number three. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. Yeah, he totally can't see those doll things. Alright, so that verifies that. Could be important. Alright, Benjamin. I don't think you're bad. I think he's the good one. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh. What does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? 
Maybe there's no more nonsense around. The game of death feeds the... Mr. Voice has been calling this a game the entire time. Feeds the shadows from the beyond. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Hmm. Now we can't read that anymore. Intrigue. Aha, there. That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. Is there like an option not to? <laughs> I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? I not normally how you want to go down a hole. Face first. Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Unfortunately, we are indeed at way over time, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here for this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you want to see more of this, want me to do the entire playthrough on the channel. With our bad choices run only, let me know in the comments if you're leaving a thumbs up. We'll definitely come back and do the rest of it. And more importantly, in the comments down below, let me know your theories, hopefully without spoilers. Like, if you have a theory and you still don't know the entire outcome of the story, let me know down below what you think. But if you already know what happens, you don't share because then you'll kind of spoil it. But I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys think. I will catch you next time.